This video will demonstrate how you can download an evaluation version of the OpenManage integration for VMware vCenter and the steps for installation and configuration. You can download the OpenManage integration for VMware vCenter from marketing.dell.com forward slash software dash download. Once you submit the information request form, the browser will redirect to a page with download instructions. Click the link to begin downloading the zip file. You may be prompted to install the Dell Download Manager, which is needed because of the zip file size. When the download is, has completed, you can extract the zip file to a temporary folder. You should have the Dell OpenManage integration for VMware vCenter, installer executable, and a VMDK file. Launch the installer application. You're required to accept the license agreement before the installer will extract additional files such as the OVF template, quick install guide, and README file. You can now import the plugin appliance virtual machine onto a host using VI Client. Click File, Import OVF Template, and select the OVF file. As you go through the wizard, it is recommended that you select the Thick Provisioning Disk format. Once the appliance import has completed, power on the virtual machine and open the console. The appliance will reboot while performing some initial configuration and eventually present a login prompt. Enter admin for the username. You're required to set a password during the first login. The menu provides the ability to modify the appliance network and time zone settings. Select your time zone. The system will reboot to apply the change. The URL for the administration portal can be found above the console menu. The next step is to enter the URL in a web browser and log in using the password that was set for the admin account. Click on Register New vCenter Server. Enter the host name or IP address of a vCenter you would like to use the appliance with and an account to be used by the appliance when communicating with the vCenter. To install a new license file, click on the Upload License link and browse to the license file. Log in to the vSphere web client. Once logged in to the vSphere web client, you will find an Open Manage integration icon on the Home tab under Administration. The first time you click on this icon, you will be prompted to complete the initial configuration wizard. To reading the welcome page, click Next to proceed to the vCenter selection page. In this step, you can select one or all registered vCenters. After reading the Connection Profile Description page, click Next. 
You cannot proceed past the Connection Profile Name and Credentials page without creating a Connection Profile. Enter iDRAC and host credentials for the host that you will be adding to this connection profile in the next step. Select host to be added to the connection profile. You must select a host or hosts in order to proceed to the fourth step. You can create and modify connection profiles later from Open Manage Integration, Manage Profiles. After selecting hosts, you can test the credentials. Here you can adjust the inventory schedule. By default, inventory will run every morning at 3 a.m. You can also adjust the warranty schedule. By default, warranty data retrieval will occur on Sundays at 3 a.m. The last step presents a screen to configure events and alarms. By default, only virtualization-related critical and warning events are posted. You can select to post all events to include critical, warning, and informational events that are both hardware and virtualization-related. Enabling the alarms will reconfigure the Dell events, adding actions to have the hosts attempt to enter maintenance mode when critical and warning events are posted. The actions can be customized within Inventory Lists, vCenter Servers, vCenter Server, Manage, Alarm Definitions. By choosing to enable the alarms, a warning message is shown to inform you that hosts sending critical events can be placed into maintenance mode. With the initial configuration wizard completed, we can navigate to Open Manage Integration, monitor, job queue, and log to view the status of the inventory. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, please visit dell.com forward slash vCenter plugin.